friends welcome to my workplace for hands on feco and sics training this is a soft cat track with terigium in this case i have planned feco emulsification with terigium surgery first feco emulsification this is the main incision with a 2.8 mm steel keratome the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away and now capsulorexis is being done with the help of uh, utrita forceps i do the movements anti clockwise now hydro dissection pss and a 27 gauss cannula used to do the hydro dissection visco again and now i am using the long nucleus sustainer that i designed recently this is the long nucleus sustainer it is 1.9 millimeter tip length it hooks the equator like this rotating the nucleus few clock hours and now here goes the pre-chopper the two instruments meet and we do lateral separation now the antechamber became shallow so i come out inject visco again and now i want to make another cut we can call this nucleus cutter also and now here it is the another cut so we have got three pieces one heminucleus has been divided into two pieces and one more heminucleus remaining the other heminucleus has been partially cut and now i take the small nucleus sustainer with 1.7 millimeter tip length and this will this is easier to manipulate in the anterior chamber. I'm spinning the nucleus few times and here comes the first nuclear piece and then the second one. And then we come to the heminucleus and easily divide this with the help of the nucleus sustainer. And now with the hand piece itself, we can remove the cortex needs some practice uh, but this is not being recommended you have to do it at your own risk and now uh, this is visco little bit of visco has been injected and I'm going to remove some fibers which is sticking to the posterior capsule here and there nice polishing is done and now uh, lens uh, hydrophilic acrylic single piece monofocal lens will be implanted before that this is hydro polish just using the irrigating jet of fluid to polish the posterior capsule and now this is hydro implantation before that I am enlarging the main wound a little bit because I am using a B cartridge and this is hydro implantation of the lens now this is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens and now since I am going to do the pterygium surgery now I fill up the anterior chamber with visco and now pterygium is to be managed I take two thick forceps and do pterygium rexis that is tear off the head of the pterygium I have got a plane along that plane um, some dissection is done and 
Here it is. And some of some no uh, white tissue is attached to the cornea that has to be cleaned later on. Now, I take a vana scissor and the forceps and trim the pterygium. The thick unhealthy pterygium is excised. The healthy pterygium is not sacrificed. And now, I remove a bit of subconjunctival tenons tissue. Along with cataract, we do this pair sclera technique of pterygium in many cases and most of the cases do very well, almost all of them do very well uh, and recurrence is very less because these old people, this pterygium is usually stationary and the bare sclera, the epithelium covers the bare sclera and then usually the recurrence is very less. But in younger patients, the recurrence is more. And this is trimming of the pterygium. Dissection is done well. And now I am uh, this tissue. This tissue is advanced a bit, a little bit of gap is there and it is going to be covered within 2-3 days. And now this is cleaning of the visco. You may ask why did not I uh, apply the visco and then put the uh, no intraocular lens. The reason is here yeah, the visco is on the anterior aspect and cleaning is easier and it is going to take less time to clean the visco. If there is visco behind the lens, then it is going to take a longer time. So, I did hydroimplantation and then placed some viscoelastic substance above the lens and cleaning is done easily. And now, we have to close the side port. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now, I take BSS and close the side port. Now, this is Again, cleaning of the final cleaning of the visco and formation of the anterior chamber. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, hope this video will uh, help you in developing your surgical skills. Along with pterygium, we can do bare sclera technique of pterygium surgery initially. Recurrence is very less, and in few cases, when recurrence occurs, we can do surgery with conjunctival autograft.